Day two in the Florida sun beamed down once again to set the perfect scene for Nitro Rallycross's season finale to play out on. Well, Heat One and Pastrana took the win to head straight to the final and keep his championship hopes alive. Kevin Hansen sat on his bumper right the way to the checkered flag, but Pastrana wasn't letting up. He too and Arpen powered out the gate and looked like for a moment he had it all under control. Chase Elliott was spinning in the background, but the perfect Arpen run wasn't to be, as he dropped to third, giving Timmy Hansen a front row seat in the final. Oliver Erickson snuck past to take second. Steve Arpen eventually wound up the heat in third. Never done before a third heat of the day, and it was all Scott Speeds. He did exactly what was expected, dominating and putting it on the front row for the final, keeping it clean and out of trouble. Tanner Faust tried to chase the gap, but to no avail. Fraser McConnell finished up third and heading straight to last chance qualifier. Well, semi one came around and it was clean and quiet seeing Kevin Hansen through to the final, joining him despite a full sideways slide, Larson took second. So semi-final two, and it was a whole different story out there. Lap one saw Steve Arpin beached on the jump and the red flag wave. The restart didn't last too much longer. Liam Duran hit a wheel off the side of Ericsson, who was slow off the start line, and the red flag was back out. Well, Steve Arpin took delight in the second red flag, getting an amazing start the third time around and cruising out front. Drama broke loose for Fraser McConnell on his joker lap, flying straight into Oliver Bennett. Then Oliver Erickson lost his rear tyre, and if that wasn't enough, Arthur and McConnell finished one and two, but even that result didn't last long. Fraser McConnell was issued a penalty, bumping Chase Elliott up and gifting him a place in the final and second in that second. Well, last chance qualifier, it's the place no one wants to be. And now, even harder with three feet, there was only one place up for girls in the final. And after losing his place in the final, Fraser McConnell came out with something to prove, taking the whole shot and jokering from the lead. It looked promising. But with the sun setting in the background, it wasn't to be for the Jamaican. And a spin saw off his chances. Tanner Faust made the perfect drive to secure his place on that final grid. Well, the final and the championship type of decider played out in true Nitro style. Pastrana pushed speed wide and the Hansen brothers played mathematical tactics to try and take the championship title. Timmy Hansen managed the win, but the overall Nitro Rallycross Championship went to a well-deserved Travis Pastrana. So the final championship order looked a little bit like this. Travis Pastrana taking home all the glory and the top spot. Scott Speed in second, finishing on the same points, but Pastrana gained that championship win on countback. And Timmy Hansen finished up the season on third, just one point off the top two. Well, 10 weeks, five rounds, and the 2021 season is done. Until next time.